हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेप एंड गाइस टुडे वी आर हेयर इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल सीरीज सो माय डियर व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वेयर स्टूडेंट्स हैव इश्यूज लाइक सेंट्रीपिटल फोर्स वर्सेज सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स वी हैव सीन थर्मोडाइनमिक साइकिल्स वर्सेज मैकेनिकल साइकिल्स we have seen related to coriolis component of acceleration and guys today's concept capsule is again going to the same subject that is theory of machines and we are going to discuss today the controlling force diagrams controlling force diagram are related to the topic governors and you know when we study governors in theory of machines we have a heading that is nothing but the disc characteristics of governor from which one question is coming in general in all the exams and my dear in that the most important heading is controlling force diagram so guys uh, for this obviously we have already taken first centripetal and centrifugal forces so you will already be having idea of that and with that idea today we are going to move with this wonderful topic so today we are going to discuss about controlling force diagram so guys those who are watching me for the first time this is some detail about me i am having around 10 plus years of experience these are my areas of expertise that is engineering mechanics strength of material theory of machines machine design industrial engineering and production technology okay so guys now we without without wasting your time we are going to start the session so as i said the heading is controlling force diagram so my dear to understand controlling force diagram first we must know what is actually the controlling force you know whenever we are talking about the governors you know this is a diagram for the watts governor you can see this is the animation for the watts governor my dear when we are talking about these governor at this uh, capsule is not related to the working of governor so i am not going into that but my dear in this if you see this element is going to be very very important this element is said to be fly ball okay so when we are talking about this element my dear as you know as you can see in this animation this fly ball is continuously rotating about some axis and this is the axis about which this is the axis about which this fly ball is going to rotate like that so both the fly balls of this side and that side they are rotating in circular motion in rotation about this axis and my dear i have taught you in a great great detail that whenever some body is in circular motion there is a force which is the requirement of circular motion if that force will not be provided by any other force because it is not a fundamental force so if any force may be tension may be gravitational force may be some other force like friction so all of these forces if any of the force is not going to provide the centripetal force the body cannot be in circular motion why because even for a uniform circular motion you know the body is changing the direction of velocity at every instant the direction of velocity is going to be changed at every instant and my dear when we are saying direction of velocity to be changed at every instant so my dear velocity is a vector quantity so to change the direction of velocity there should be some acceleration and we have seen my dear that acceleration is nothing but the centripetal acceleration which is given as omega square r also it is given as v square upon r and my dear this acceleration is said to be centripetal acceleration this is said to be centripetal acceleration and my dear this acceleration is really very 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 important is it clear guys so this is the centripetal acceleration which is going to be very very important guys so now we will be having a discussion on that so guys this is the centripetal force which is required and if the centripetal force will be present you know centripetal force is going to be mass into this acceleration so my dear if this centripetal force will be present then only the body can be in pure circular motion you can say or you can say uniform circular motion so my dear the point is when these fly balls are having this circular motion so someone is going to provide the centripetal force which is there with these fly balls and that centripetal force is going to control the motion of the fly ball as well as the governor because somewhere the motion of sleeve is associated with the motion of fly ball also so my dear as i said that force centripetal force which is going to control the motion of fly ball and the overall governor that's why this force is given the name of controlling force so my dear this centripetal force which is present which is present 
which is present with the fly ball my dear that force itself is given the name of controlling force so my dear when we are talking about controlling force you get to know that it is m into acceleration that is centripetal acceleration you also know centripetal acceleration is nothing but omega square r or v square upon r so my dear this centripetal force when we are talking about this is going to be m omega square r it can also be written as m v square upon r this is the magnitude and you know this force is always acting towards the center of rotation that is already known to us this is centripetal force okay if you want to take in the form of centrifugal it will be coming outward that you know already i have taken centripetal versus centrifugal on one body we can take either centripetal or centrifugal based upon the fact that our analysis is going with inertial frame of reference or non inertial frame of reference so my dear here we are talking with respect to earth so obviously we will be taking centripetal which is reality centrifugal is a pseudo force you know that so my dear we are talking about the centripetal force for the timing and my dear who is going to provide this force so you already know in the vote governor this sleeve is massless so when this sleeve is massless obviously there is no tension in this link but there will be tension present in this arm and my dear you know when the tension is present in the arm this tension will be providing the centripetal force so here this controlling force or centripetal force it is provided by the tension of the arm is it clear or not and my dear when we are entering into the next type of governor which is porter and proel governor there you know fly balls are having the mass sleeve is also having the weight on to the sleeve so because of that in both arms as well as in links in both tension is present and both will be providing a component both will be providing a component so here my dear there are tension t and tension t dash there are two forces which are going to provide us the necessary centripetal force that's why porter and proel governor are able to work at higher speeds because their two tensions are present to provide the necessary centripetal force to be in pure circular motion and my dear when we are talking about hartnell in hartnell my dear we are having an addition of extra thing that is spring force and spring force is also going to help us in this and because of that hartnell governors are capable of working at very 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 high speeds so now we get to know that this controlling force is nothing but the centripetal force which is given as m omega square r and my dear we can also write it as omega square okay we can also write it as omega square is fc by mr we can also write it as omega is nothing but 2 pi n by 60 so 2 pi n by 60 ka whole square fc by mr we can also write it as n square is equals to 60 by 2 pi 60 ka square 2 pi ka square into mr multiply by fc and if you are going to take square root on both the sides my dear you will be having n is equals to 60 by 2 pi square root m square root fc by r why i have written this in this format the reason is there actually when we are going to have y here x here then dy by dx or delta y by delta x or y by x it is said to be the slope and slope is given by tangent theta or phi is it clear and such diagram and such slope is said to be slope of y x diagram similarly my dear if we keep controlling force on the y axis r on the x axis then we can write fc upon r as tangent phi which is nothing but slope of slope of fc versus r diagram and my dear this fc versus r diagram are given the name of controlling force diagram because you know fc is nothing but the controlling force so fc by r is said to be the controlling force diagram 
इज इट क्लियर गाइड सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग फोर्स डायग्राम फर्स्ट वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज कंट्रोलिंग फोर्स नाउ वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज कंट्रोलिंग फोर्स डायग्राम सो माय डियर व्हेन वी गेट टू नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स नाउ दिस इज द टाइम टू मेक और टू सी द डायग्राम्स व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज डायग्राम्स माय डियर दीज डायग्राम्स आर बीइंग प्लॉटेड बिटवीन एफ सी एंड आर आर इज नथिंग बट द स्लीव पोजिशन एफ सी इज नथिंग बट द कंट्रोलिंग फोर्स एंड माई डियर दीज डायग्राम्स आर प्लॉटेड इन द लेबोरेटरीज बाय द डिप्लोमा होल्डर्स पीपल्स दो आर वर्किंग इन द लैब्स एंड दे कैन प्रोवाइड यू द वैल्यूज लेटर से यू आर हैविंग ए वॉट और पोर्टर गवर्नर लाइक दिस सो वेन यू आर गोइंग टू हैव ए वॉट और पोर्टर गवर्नर लाइक दिस लेटर से इट इज अ पोर्टर गवर्नर सो वट दे विल बी डूइंग दे विल बी टेकिंग दिस स्लीव डाउन और अप बिकॉज वेन दे विल बी टेकिंग द स्लीव डाउन और अप आर विल बी चेंजिंग and based on that they will be getting the value of fc and then they will be plotting the points onto this fc versus r diagram and joining the points you will be getting some curve and let us say we are getting this type of curve after getting all the values if you see this type of curve you are getting for fc versus r diagram my dear then i would like to tell you that we have just derived n is equals to 60 by 2 pi root m into tangent phi and you know this tangent phi is nothing but the slope of this diagram so you can write n is directly proportional to square root of tangent phi so my dear any curve or line any curve or line associated with phi let us say i am going to plot a line and this line is plotted at an angle of phi 1 then my dear this will be giving us the speed of n1 why because n is directly proportional to tangent phi so this curve is given the name of speed line corresponding to one speed this is said to be the speed line similarly if i am going to plot some other speed lines my dear i can plot another speed line like this this is at n2 making an angle of phi 2 Similarly, my dear, we can go for a third line as well. Let us say this is the third line. Okay, this is for n three, making an angle of phi three. My dear, you can observe one thing that if I am going to plot, if I am going to plot the projection of this related to first speed line, it is r one. Related to second speed line, it is r two. Related to third speed line, it is going to be r three. and you can see r1 r2 r3 you will be able to say sir r1 is less than r2 is less than r3 yes r1 less than r2 less than r3 and if you see my dear this n3 n2 n1 so my dear n is directly proportional to tangent phi you can see phi 3 more than phi 2 more than phi 1 so obviously n3 more than n2 more than n1 why because my dear n is directly proportional to tangent phi tangent phi is directly proportional to phi so my dear you can observe as r is increasing in the same way n is increasing so you can see when r is going to increase n is going to increase in the similar manner when r is going to decrease n is going to decrease okay guys and this is the condition which is indicating towards stable governor so if you get this type of condition this type of controlling force diagram then my dear such a governor is said to be a stable governor and you know we always want a stable governor which follows stable equilibrium condition then my dear if we are moving to the second type of diagram sometime we are also getting some different type of diagram also like let us see if we get some different type of diagram in this way this time diagram is coming in this way so my dear when this diagram will be coming once again we will be plotting three speed line let us say one speed line is this another speed line is this third speed line is this so my dear this is speed line related to n1 the angle for this is phi1 speed line related to speed n2 and the angle for this is phi2 the speed line related to n3 the angle for this is phi3 if you see my dear the projection is r1 projection is r2 projection is r3 
here you can see my dear the trend is going to be opposite r1 is more than r2 is more than r3 but phi 3 is more than phi 2 is more than phi 1 so this is giving n3 more than n2 more than n1 so if you see r increases and decreases r decreases and increases this is the condition of unstability so this governor is going to be unstable governor. It means some design parameters are obviously wrong and that is why it is resulting into my dear unstable governor. So my dear these types of diagram you are getting for Proel governor. Previous diagram can be for Watt, Porter and Proel. And my dear now I am coming to the spring control governor. For spring control governor we will be getting this type of diagram. For spring control governor, we will be getting these linear diagrams. So these kind of straight line can be there. Either you will be having this or you will be having this or you will be having this. For spring control governor, when you are going to plot FS versus R diagram, it will be coming either in the form of AR plus B or AR or AR minus B. Means it is always going to be a straight line. So my dear, I am also going to give you a shortcut technique to check by looking at the controlling force diagram, whether this is showing stable governor, unstable governor or isochronous governor. And that shortcut technique I am going to show you first and then we will be using it here. Let us say if you have this type of controlling force diagram, you just need to plot one speed line. Let us say you are plotting this speed line. You just come to the intersection point. If on the intersection point, after that, if you will be checking, you can see controlling force curve is above the speed line. So if controlling force curve is above the speed line, it means, my dear, this shows stable governor. And my dear, if you get, if you get just opposite to this, if you get just opposite to this, if you plot a speed line like this at the intersection after that, if speed line is above the controlling force diagram, it represents the unstable governor. So you just need to check whether FC is above or speed line is above. So this is the shortcut way to check whether the governor is stable or unstable rather than going for three lines all the time. So my dear, now I am showing that how to use this in the Hartnell governor. So here if I am going to plot a speed line, let us say this is speed line. So you can see for this speed line, speed line is above the controlling force. So it represents an unstable governor. This is a straight line of type F is equals to AR plus B. If you are going to plot a speed line in this way, you can see after this point, you are having controlling force line above the speed line. This shows the stable governor. And if you are going to plot a line coincident with this line, then my dear, both the lines are same. So this is the condition for isochronous governor. F is equals to AR. So my dear, this is how you can check. And in gate 2022, they have given this curve and they have asked which type of governor is unstable, which is stable, which is isochronous. So this is unstable, isochronous, stable. So this was the question of gate 22. So as I said, this is a very, very, very important topic. That is how we can find out the stable, unstable or isochronous governor by looking at the controlling force diagram. And you already know stability and sensitivity. They are inverse properties. So they can ask in terms of sensitivity also. So if stability is more, sensitivity will be lesser. If sensitivity is more, stability will be lesser. So guys, this is how the questions are being asked from this controlling force diagram. So guys, uh, signing off for this session. We will be meeting for the next session. And my dear, next session will be there with some other concept in this series only. So guys, just be with us and... If you want a special concept capsule on your preferred topic, you can mention the topic in the comment section. Do like the session, share it with your friends and also subscribe the channel. Goodbye guys for the session. Goodbye.